right, good morning everybody. Ryan here again. So, customer in, had some uh, emissions issues, uh, ran the force region and all that, had pretty high pressure on the uh, inlet side of this uh, one box unit here. So, this uh, pretty simple unit. I mean, it's complicated but simple. Uh, pretty easy to take out. Uh, probably one of the easier units as far as manufacturers go out here to remove the whole unit from the truck. Uh, so, it's all like I said, when you hear the term one box or whatever, that's what they're talking about is this whole big box. And inside of this, you've got two DPS and SCRs in here, and it's all kind of contained. Your, your DOCs are up on the inside there. Um, everything's pretty well self-contained for the most part. The only thing you have was uh, one big plug here to disconnect. And then um, given the fact that your uh, doser module, your depth doser module or injector down here, has coolant lines from the engine. Um, you can either drain the coolant or crimp those off. I decided just to take that, disconnect the uh, plug from it off of the one box harness and just lay it off to the side, which I'll show you here on the truck here in a minute. Um, but other than that, really uh, a simple simple unit to, uh, to pull off of the truck for the most part. I think you got four bolts on each side and the steps in the front kind of hold it in too. Uh, the inlet side clamp, outlet side clamp, which I'll grab those up, but uh, we'll go ahead and uh, kind of do, get a little closer and do a walk around this and I'll show you all the, point out all the major parts and components on it. All right, so here's your main harness connector coming off the truck right here. And from there, everything kind of branches out. Uh, coming over here on the inlet side, you have your uh, inlet differential pressure sensor here, which is right here and here's the actual sensors underneath this grommet here. And there's a little rubber hose here, which on the outlet side, I'll show you a major problem with that one. Uh, you got a temperature sensor, inlet temperature sensor here, another temperature sensor here. And I think that's pretty much it on this side. Like I said, this is the inlet side coming off the truck. Uh, this would be an SCR inside, uh, temp sensor here, in, inlet side SCR temp sensor. And that's kind of bent up a little bit. Uh, then there's an outlet uh, SCR temp side here, and that's no problem there. Uh, outlet knock sensor here. So, I mean, and you can trace these. These are pretty simple to get to. They're a lot easier than like on the Kenworths and stuff. Uh, so, basically, you got all this room when it's underneath the truck where you can get to these knock sensors pretty easy, and they're right next to each other. So, I believe following this back this is your outlet side knock sensor and this would be your inlet side over here and that's uh, right here so as I was saying with the uh, this other out, outside outlet there uh, after ash side I guess uh, on your differential pressure sensor is right here and as you can see this was all dry rotted and blown out so I mean that's this fell apart. It was it was actually had a hole in it when I took it off, uh, so it was already blown out. Um, but I would be a little bit more concerned if it was on that other on the inlet side because it would be showing a lot lower pressure, obviously, than than what it was what it what it is. Uh, this uh, other temperature sensor here on the outlet side of the DPFs, it's uh, kind of melted, so I don't think the wiring's melted. But uh, we might go ahead and replace that as well. And uh, like I said, both your knock sensors are here. This is the harness for your depth doser module. And that guy just kind of comes down here and plugs into it. But uh, I took this out. Um, I guess this gentleman took it somewhere and they were telling him that is his one, the whole box is bad. And as you guys know, with the part shortages and all that, uh, with these entire units, supposedly they're like 16 weeks out right now for a whole new unit. Uh, I took a look at it and ran everything, and I didn't think the whole box was bad. I mean, by the, by the numbers that I was seeing on it with pressures and all that and temps. Um, I deal with another uh, kind of a business-to-business -business place that, uh, that, that refurbishes these, uh, sells DPFs, cleans DPFs, all that type of stuff. I can send it out to them, and they'll go through the whole unit for about $1,300, given if there's any other major work that needs to be done. Um, but talking to them, they've been doing this for several years, and uh, she said they've only had one of these boxes come through where the whole box was bad. And uh, as I said, right now, uh, supposedly these boxes for the whole unit 
they're 16 weeks out and they're anywhere from six to nine thousand dollars there's some people out there that have like aftermarket ones in stock but they're definitely price gouging because they're wanting like nine thousand dollars for them so i guess uh i mean if you had to have it for some reason if you did have some major damage and you know for uh uh, you know, for, if you're down, if your truck's down for four months, I mean, I guess you'd probably want to pay it, but, uh, kind of is what it is. Uh, so that's pretty much it on here for the most part. I don't think I missed anything. So I'll take you over here to the truck and kind of show you everything else I was talking about there. Uh, so here's where your, um, inlet side comes in down from the turbo and all that. Uh, here's your your plug for the harness and obviously your tailpipe outlet side going to your stacks or weed burner or whatever. And um, here is your def doser module and these are the two coolant lines I was talking about. Um, so if you disconnect these, you're going to have a lot of, all your coolant's going to drain out unless you somehow crimp these off or just leave it connected like I did here. And this is a newer, newer module that he had put on, it looks like. Yeah, look at that Cummins, Cummins emission systems on a uh, Freightliner. So, on a, actually, I think this is this is a DD15 as well. So Cummins parts on a uh, Detroit Freightliner. So yeah, the easiest thing, in my opinion, would be just to take this off and lay it off to the side like that. So I just put it in a in a bucket there to kind of protect it. So um, so that's pretty much it. Like I said, that guy just sits in here. Four bolts this side and this side so you, actually with the, my tractor and loader we could actually um, just get underneath here with the forks and all that and pick it up all right so just got got interrupted there because my guy that was picking that up just showed up as we were doing this so that it has left the building here or left the yard so uh, that'll be on its way out there to get uh, gone through and um, I, I can get those done all went through cleaned and everything any repairs needed for about fifteen hundred dollars roughly excluding any extra uh, sensors and stuff like that so um, like I said, you don't have to, I mean, at the dealers and stuff, I mean, you don't have to pay four or $5,000 to get this stuff done. It doesn't cost that much. So, um, and they're pretty simple to take off and put back on. I mean, I'm probably looking at four or five hours, maybe, um, just depending on what, what else I got to change out and all that. So it's not that big of a job, not the end of the world. Um, you know, a couple thousand dollars basically, uh, to have this done. So, um, like I said, if somebody's telling you that your whole box is bad, like unless that thing has been like damaged from the road or something or like completely filled with oil, um, typically they're not 100% bad where you got to replace that whole unit. Uh, so I uh, just thought it's a pretty interesting project. So uh, like I said, I had that out and had some time here uh, before I got to do some other stuff here this morning. So I figured I would uh, just do a short video on this and uh, talk a little bit about it. So anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell for the updates and like the video. And uh, again, as always, we appreciate all the support. Um, like I said, we'll keep putting stuff like this out for you guys and uh, try to help out as much as we can. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.